it's Megan and I'm, <laughs> I'm positioning my head like this because I have a question to ask you. Do you ever feel like you like look super cute? You're like, ooh, ooh, I look so good. And then you turn in the mirror and you have these long ass pieces of hair coming out of nowhere. <laughs> literally, I was like, oh yeah, so cute. Turn, ah! like literally I was just, horrified because I mean I work from home now so it's not like I was seeing anyone but I was feeling so good little did I know I have these like crazy tendrils coming out because I missed them when I was putting my hair up but anyway I'm still feeling cute and I really needed makeup today to make me feel better I've just been having like a lot of anxiety first of all and I feel like my allergies are really bad or something like I've been having to take Flonase every day and it feels like I have like cramps like I'm just not in a good place physically mentally I guess I don't know but emotionally emotionally I'm struggling for sure physically I'm struggling but I am determined to have an awesome kick-ass weekend and I'm in a really like surprisingly good mood like pretty much all today I was like blah and it was the first full week of work this week was crazy in the world in America no words um I had a lot of words if you guys follow me on Instagram you saw my horror, my disgust, and I'm trying to still process that. And at work, we just got some really earth shattering kind of news with like changes happening. So it was just like, can we just have a good solid week for once? But maybe. This weekend will be the reset button I need. I don't know. The reset button the world needs. I have no idea. But I am determined to have a great evening and then a great two days off. I feel like I totally need it to be refreshed for next week. I don't know how quickly you guys at your companies got back into the swing of things, but I feel like we're still like dragging along. Um, so this week was kind of like in limbo. But next week, I have so many meetings, so much is due next week, it's just, I can't even think about it. So let's not think about it, let's just enjoy the weekend. And so tonight we are picking up Red Lobster for dinner, amaze. Um, I am so having wine because I need it and I deserve it and I pretty much never drink. <laughs> like, I used to drink a lot more and I just that's just not my thing but I do love a good drink every now and then and I am really craving that Kim Crawford wine <laughs> I just saw that Jamie tagged me on Instagram that she got some and I was like oh my god I'm definitely gonna have some tonight then so I want to do that and I've been reading I have barely read this week, but I've been reading One of Us is Next, which I'm about halfway done, so I'm pretty proud about that. Um, and it's just such a good, like, teenage drama, and the first one, One of Us is Lying, is so good. Highly recommend, and I am sure this is going to be, like, a great ending because this author is just really, really good. I want to check out more of her books. So, anyway... I'm determined to have a good weekend. I am excited to bring you guys along with me for the ride. And just thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your support. Ooh, my nail polish. This also made me very happy. And I, I usually paint my nails as I edit my videos because I don't need to fully be like doing anything while I'm editing. I'm mostly playing through the clips and then just like snipping and like clipping things every so often and doing like notes for my description box but I usually do paint my nails and so this is the Cirque Colors 
and I'm trying to get a good like accurate lighting probably let's see and that's probably a pretty accurate lighting so um this is the Cirque Colors Trompliol and I'll have to show you tomorrow in natural light because this is just not doing it justice but it is a neon pastel yellow it is phenomenal like it definitely has a lime tint to it but it's like very much like a very pretty pastel yellow it's amazing so anyway i am going to go because me and rage have to get the red lobster order can't wait for those biscuits <laughs> it was alex trebek's last jeopardy <laughs> <laughs> We're digging in. I have my crab linguine alfredo. We got calamari and the biscuits. And I'm also having my Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, and what is that called? Clam chowder. Clam chowder, thank you. I got some fun planner things and pens and highlighters in the mail today. This isn't the planner that I ordered the um, Happy Planner that hasn't even shipped yet, unfortunately. This is by Happy Planner, but this is actually a um, guided journal, which I thought was so cool. So it is a Disney like collaboration and it says Trust in the Magic with Jasmine Bell and Mulan on the front. And then there's like sections for each, I think it's like for six months and so each month has a little like sweet quote or like picture of them at the beginning and then it has a page to kind of like kick off the week like guides you to what you should write about which I thought was really awesome and then it goes day by day so I thought this was just really really neat and I love how there's like the different um Disney like images and stuff throughout it and Oh my gosh, so cute. And so it goes like every month is a different one of those three. Oh my gosh, Mrs. Potts and Ship. So cute. Um, and then this month is Mulan, which I loved Mulan when I was growing up. Just such a badass. I just thought this was really neat and I found it on sale from Joann's, I think. And I just love like the Disney collection. So I got that. And then whenever my happy planner, like that I'm actually gonna use as my planner comes in, I'll definitely show you guys. And I hope that it can come before like the end of January. Um, I was late ordering it. I ordered it like either on the first of the year or something like that. So that's my bad, but I just hope it ships soon. So I got that journal and then based on your recommendations on my Instagram, I found these pens on Amazon. They're by the brand Muji and they are a gel ballpoint 0.5 like um tip pen so it's very fine and I love it I used it today to make my to-do list and the listing I got came with three of these so I just started one and then these were just so intriguing to me these are the zebra mild liners so a bunch of you recommended these for my planner and what's cool about these is that they're more like soft pastel colors, but I also like that they have two ends. So it has the like thicker normal highlighter end and then more like a pen end. So you can choose like how you use it if you want to highlight or just like underline or even write with it. My camera just died because I ran out of space, so I don't know exactly what I was saying, but 
Um, I'm really excited to try these out and I love that it comes in kind of like a little case that you can keep them organized in or you could put them of course in like a pencil pouch or something. So that is it that I have to show you guys for planner and pen stuff. And whenever my Happy Planner comes in, I will show you right away. And I'll link the one I bought down below just in case you're um, interested in ordering it because it seems like it takes a while for them to ship. Um, but I'm just excited to keep making my lists and stuff, but using some of these new supplies and also starting this guided journal tonight. Morning, you guys. I have my Don't Talk To Me 2.0s on. I love them. And I curled my hair this morning. I know this lighting isn't great, but I am staked out at Ulta. They are opening in four minutes. They're, I'm always shocked when I come and like come for opening at Ulta that there are also other people that do the same thing. Like it just shocks me. But today is a like half off deal for the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And I love that stuff. And I buy it every year from this sale. And it's just such a great deal, obviously, to get it for 50% off. So I'm gonna get two of those. And then there were a few other things on my list from Ulta that I was thinking about picking up this week, but I just didn't have time to come and it actually worked out because they sent out like a points multiplier like bonus thing so everything that I buy is four times the points which is great so there's already someone standing outside I am definitely not going to stand outside because it is 29 degrees and I don't want the Clinique stuff that bad and I don't that's the other thing like everyone usually is here for like a different reason like other than the day that I came when the Sailor Moon collection from Colourpop was brought to Ulta pretty much that was the only time that people were mostly there for that all other occasions that I've stood outside they're all here for like different reasons and different products and maybe they're just early risers so that's also a possibility but anyway i am going to head in there and then i'm not going to show you guys what i get because i'm going to film a ulta haul today so i'm excited about that and after this i think i'm going to get some duncan breakfast and coffee i've been really craving their coffee and that is my plan for this morning i'm shocked there's barely a line at Duncan this morning and it's 10 30 usually at this time it's like insane um but I'm getting sandwiches for me and my mom and a giant iced coffee for myself <laughs> hi welcome to Duncan how can I help you today hi I actually placed an order on the app for What's Megan 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 mm -hmm. all right you can pull up to the window thank you and of course now it's like dark, but I wanted to show you guys my nail polish in the natural light. It is so happy. I can't wait to wear it in the summer. Like this is just the best. And today I'm wearing my slip face mask. I really, really love this, but I only wear it when I'm like not wearing makeup because it's expensive and makeup always gets on my masks. So I, where like I wash this one of course but I don't know I just want to make sure it stays nice and all but I really do love it and my mom wants one so I'm gonna have to get her one of those one of these days <laughs> major malfunction my gosh I also really recommend doing like ordering ahead on the app and picking it up if you're ordering food because then they can make it in advance and it just usually takes a long time or it feels like a long time <laughs> um, for them to make food compared to just like your drinks so I just love ordering ordering in advance anytime I can thanks so much you too naturally I spilled a bare minerals eyeshadow all over my white bed and my barefoot dreams blanket so i'm going to see if our dyson can help like pick it up without like spreading it in 
So we'll see what happens. Well, that didn't totally work, but I feel like it would have pressed more in if I would have tried to like wipe it up. So I'm just going to try to use my Tide pen and see if I can get most of this out, but ugh, I'm so annoyed at myself. Also, I've been meaning to tell you guys about this necklace that I've been wearing a bunch and I have received a few questions about it. So when I thought of it this morning, I was like, I need to tell them. So this is a gorgeous, like sparkly chain. And I've always loved chains like this. It is very similar to years and years and years ago. I got the HRH collection Orion's belt. That was like a choker. And I still have that, but I think it kind of is like tarnished a little bit. But this I got at Kohl's on sale for like $25 or something. Normally it's $60, which is probably still a good deal because it's um, sterling silver and then gold plated. But it is stunning. It is so sparkly and it's just the way the chain is made. It's not like it actually has like sparkle to it. It's just very, very beautiful. And I actually ordered a few shorter lengths because this is the only length they have at Kohl's. It's 20 inches and I wanted like an 18 or a 16. And I ordered some from Amazon, but the package is like lost or something. <laughs> I ordered it I think two weeks ago and it just never has been updated and I don't know if I'm ever gonna get it. So I hope they eventually come but if nothing else this one I can definitely recommend and just wait for it to go on sale because everything at Kohl's always does go on sale and I just really really love how it looks especially with my favorite favorite A Goldie v-neck sweatshirt which I still wear like at least twice a week <laughs> is just the best to me and it just shows off necklaces perfectly so if you've been in the market for something like this I would highly recommend this one and I've worn it a bunch and it doesn't look worn or anything the only thing I'll say is that the like hook like the clasp and then the ri the ring that the clasp goes in to like hold the necklace together is so small and today it I guess I didn't have it on perfectly and it fell off. So thank God it didn't fall off when I was like out and about. It was when we were having breakfast and I thought literally a spider or something fell on me because it like fell down like into my shirt. I was like, <laughs> it was so scary, but <laughs> it was just my necklace. So all's good, but it does have a really, really small like opening or whatever. So yeah, that is that for my necklace. We're at our favorite place, the Recycling Center. And I just wanted to show you guys some tips that we have found over coming here for the past like few months. And we bring all of our paper products here. So we always at home like go through everything to sort through because at ours you have to separate cardboard and then like mixed paper. So and we- And newspaper. And newspaper, yeah, yeah is separate. So we um, take all the stuff out of any cardboard boxes and then I like nest them with in each other to make it easier to carry over to like the dumpster and then in that paper bag we have like mixed paper and then I bought this um, hamper. hamper laundry basket thing that I just leave in my car and when I want to go to the uh, recycling center we just fill it up with mixed paper and then just dump it in and we learned that from a little old lady that was here when I like had a bag rip on me and it was so like traumatizing but then this little lady came over and she was like you know a hamper really helps carry it and I was like thank you so much and she let me borrow hers but now we have our own and so we're passing that tip on to you. Hey guys it's Sunday I just finished getting ready and this is my second day curls they look great and it's just like kind of crazy and big and I use my way dry shampoo just to help my roots because I didn't wash my hair yesterday I washed it the either the night or the day before so this is basically like third day hair and that just really helped revive my hair without looking 
like that dry shampoo is so amazing it's not like a heavy dry shampoo it really just like works into your hair you just have to like rub it in and it's amazing so I just did my makeup and I use the um bare minerals pebble I'm really loving that as a one shadow look and I use the Marc Jacobs lunatic eyeliner on my waterline that is always a favorite and then I use a blush that I haven't used in a while which is Chanel Jersey or accent it looks very similar to Jersey but accent is the one I have which was limited edition a long time ago but if you want something similar Chanel Jersey is pretty much identical I had Jersey for a while but I decluttered it because it was just so similar and I'm thinking about placing a Chanel order because I'm almost done with my rose bronze blush which is hard to believe but it's like on its last leg and I've been wanting to try a few different things from Chanel so I'm thinking about doing that um, and my lipstick, I really, really love it. It's the Kylie Cosmetics Bare Liquid Lipstick. And I did my trick that I showed you guys in last week's vlog of putting on a MAC lip gloss first, blotting it a little bit, and then putting on a liquid lipstick. And it just makes it a lot more comfortable and still keeps it long wearing. So that is basically the makeup details for today i'm wearing my like levi's super comfy sherpa jacket and whew, i have had a really weird <laughs> last night and this morning just a lot of intense um news about someone that i used to be close with came to light and so i'm just kind of like in a fog in a sense so um I did my makeup like I showered I did my makeup I am trying to like just decompress and take my mind off of things even more than I already was with everything going on in our country and at work I mentioned there were like some changes happening so whew, just kind of an intense time in my brain <laughs> so um I had been wanting to go to Marshall's for a while I haven't been there in wow probably five or six months and before that I wasn't there for like five or six months and um I just kind of want to go and like browse and just see what there is to see and get my mind out of my head <laughs> and um sometimes you just need some I don't even know if I need retail therapy I just need to like be stimulated in a sense and I was wanting to go there anyway so it's kind of the perfect thing so I'm going to go do that and if I pick anything up or if anything interesting is there I'll show you guys but I really don't like vlogging in stores anymore like because I really just try to get in and out as fast as possible and today I'm kind of browsing but I'll probably feel like overwhelmed and just want to get out of there so um, I doubt I'll vlog in uh, Marshalls but if I find anything cool I'll show you guys and after I come back I really want to start a new book because I finished reading One of Us is Next last night and I liked it. I really prefer the first book um, in the series more but this book was also really good definitely a great teenage drama and just so much happened and I think I enjoyed it more before getting the news that really has like shaken me to my core um, but it's it's a very like it sucks you in like it's just so dramatic and like crazy and if you like PLL, Pretty Little Liars, you will love it. And I was telling my sister about the book and she was like, oh my god, this sounds like such Pretty Little Liars, like chaos. And it really, it really is good. And I saw that they're making a TV show of One of Us is Lying, which was the first book. So that's of course going to be on one of the streaming networks, like um, NBC's Peacock streaming network. So who knows <laughs> if I'll even sign up to watch that when it finally comes out but 
the the first book I really really preferred I think so today I'm gonna start a different book and I just kind of want to get some fresh air get out of here for a little bit and yeah <laughs> literally these sunglasses look even more amazing with like giant hair I love it <laughs> I need to take some Instagram pictures <laughs> So I got a few things at Marshall's and it was like, it was set up differently than it used to be. I think they like spread everything out, um, which is good, but I got a few things. One thing I always look for is their like organizer stuff. And I really liked this one because I had three really thin drawers and then a deep drawer. So. I don't know exactly what I will use this for, but I just really liked that a lot. So I got that and that was $14.99. And then they had the Laneige water sleeping mask that my mom always uses. It looks like different packaging, like maybe it was from a different country. Like sometimes they get things that were from like Europe and things like that. So this looks slightly different, but this was only $19.99 and normally, I think this is, I don't know, was that really a good deal? But I just got that for my mom. <laughs> I'll have to look up the like retail value of that. Then I got the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. This was a travel exclusive and there's two of them in here. So let's see if it was tampered with so this was $14.99 and most of the stuff at our store is always like tampered with and like opened but you would be able to tell with this packaging so I'm hoping this actually has both of them in there because that is a great deal $15 for two even just for one that's an amazing deal so Oh my god, they're both in there. Amazing. So I'm really, really happy about that. That's my favorite lower lash line mascara. It like doesn't transfer. I didn't use it today for some reason, but now I have like backups for that. And then the last things I got were just some fun nail polishes because you guys know I need more nail polish. This one just really spoke to me. It's the Sally Hansen Thera Pewter. And it's like a, I would say it's like a sage green silver. It's like really, really pretty. And I love metallic nail polishes. And I've never tried anything from this line. And then I got two from Essie. So that one was $2.99. The Essies and OPIs were $3.99. And so these were just such happy colors. And very like Valentine's Day now that I think about it. So this one is called Guilty Pleasures. And it is so pretty. I know the lighting, like the sun is coming in like crazy, but this one just made me so happy. And same with this one. This is called Too Too Hot. And it's like a coral red. Oh my gosh, I just love those. So yeah, I obviously didn't need any of this stuff, but I was super happy with that MAC deal, especially because I try to get MAC products whenever I can at a discount because you can back to Mac them when you're done with them and then you get like a free product if you have six items. So I like to get Mac when I can so I know eventually I'll be able to put it towards something like fun, like a new lipstick or lip gloss. And yeah, so I think I have to run to the store to pick up something my mom wanted for dinner. Like, um, I think she's making gyros or like some sort of like Mediterranean dish because she wanted me to get feta cheese. And then I want to get a Dunkin' iced coffee because I have a free coupon and I just feel like I deserve it. So I'm feeling a little bit better still, definitely have a lot going on in my mind, but I was able to put all that out of my mind when I was at Marshall's, so that felt good for sure. All right, you guys, I just painted my nails. I used two of the colors that I picked up. I used the Essie Too Too Hot on this hand, and it is a stunning coral red. It is beautiful. 
And then on the other hand, I'm trying to do this all. Oh man, I just messed up this nail. Um, don't try to film while waiting for your nails to dry. Um, this is the Guilty Pleasures. And this is a really pretty, like, it is slightly corally as well, but it's definitely pink. So it's like a light, bright coral pink. It is gorgeous. And I'm gonna have to fix that nail after I finish filming this, but I just did that. And um, I did order this OPI touch-up pen for like around my cuticles. One of you guys told me about it, so I'm so excited to get that. But I'm going to start reading a new book, and I decided to read Recursion by Blake Crouch. And I loved his book, Dark Matter. That book really, really has stuck with me. And it's such a unique, like, sci-fi type of story. And um, one of you had recommended this to me a while back, and I picked this for my book of the month this month and I haven't started it at all so I don't know what the premise is. I love going into books without really knowing what they're about but I know that this author does like sci-fi, um, sci-fi drama I would say would be how I would describe it and I can't wait to read this because Dark Matter was super good and you said this was even better so cannot wait but I'm going to wrap up the vlog here we are just gonna have a chill night I'm sure and I'm still in a weird state of mind and just want to take a chill pill <laughs> this evening and tomorrow I'm back to work for another full work week so just want to decompress as much as possible today before have to go back to reality. So I hope you guys are all doing really well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.